Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel today for the summer fun video hop from Altenew. We are sharing lots of brand new products with you today in this inspirational video hop, and there are lots of prizes, so be sure to leave a comment before continuing on the hop. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I created a few different tags from the, sta the same stamp and die set. And so the brand new stamp set I'm going to be using today is this Courageous You stamp. It has a gorgeous, huge double flower image, which I love. And then of course, the brand new Terrific Tags die set is to create my tags. This die set has lots of different sizes and designs for the tags, and I know that I'll be able to use this again and again. I'm showing the gorgeous trifold pamphlet right now that Altenew is sort of known for these days, I would say, in my respect anyway. And I love having them because they are full of inspiration, color inspiration, and design inspiration. So I'm going to be using my original size Misty to stamp my image. This is a very large image. It will not fit top to bottom on an A2 size card. So I'm using a trimmed down piece of the watercolor cardstock from Altenew that came in the 9 by 12 pad. I've cut it down so that it fits inside my Misty, and I'm using the Obsidian Black Pigment Ink from Altenew. This is a waterproof ink, which is great because I will be watercoloring this image today. So as you can see, I get this really beautiful, crisp image, but you can restamp as many times as you would like, just to make sure that you get every tiny line in there that you'd like. Now, I know that some of you may be thinking that I am sort of more a no line coloring gal, and this image would be great for no line coloring, and that is so true. But I wanted to share with you how quickly and easily you can make this image beautiful and pop and we can use it in the way that I did where I can use it to create lots of different tags just from using the one image. The watercolor that I'm using today is my new favorite. It's the 24 Artist Watercolor Palette from Altenew and the specific color I'm using here is Cherry Blossom. I will have all of the specific colors that I use in the description if you're interested and I'm just going to go through just a little bit here in real time how I'm creating the color on my stamped images. So if you're familiar with no line coloring, you know that it sort of takes a lot of time to get the gradient from dark to light and it's extremely important in no line coloring or water coloring because you can't see the lines obviously. So you have to make those lines apparent without actually seeing them. When you have a stamped image like this with black ink, you don't have to be as precise and it has a little more of a loose watercolor look which I love. For me, since this is not a technique, uh, loose watercoloring is not something that I often do. I thought that it would just be more comfortable for me to stamp it in this dark black ink. And again, it's not something that I often do. So I like to sometimes just escape my comfort zone a little bit and just have fun. So what I'm doing is very similar to a no line technique only I'm able just to relax a little bit more and not pay as much attention to the details and how far I'm pulling out my pigment. So to create this gradient look, I am using a very pigmented paintbrush with very little water on it. I will go ahead and pick up that cherry blossom watercolor and just line the base of the petal. And I'll come up maybe just a little bit and then I'll dip that paintbrush in some clean water there off to the right and dab off a little bit of excess water onto that paper towel. I'll then go ahead and pull some of that pigment up about a quarter of the way of the flower, dip the paintbrush back into the clean water, dab off some excess, pull that pigment up, and then do it all over again. I love being able to get to a really, really light pigment at the tips of my petals when I'm using a dark or a black line to stamp my image 
um, because I don't really have to worry about creating the shape because the image is there and it's in black and so it's easy to see. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Well, I guess I've already actually sped it up and I'm going to put a little bit of music on just so you can watch me paint this flower and it come together and I'll be back when I am done with the watercoloring. So here is the completed image after I have watercolored the entire thing. And I am going to re-stamp over this and I'm able to do that because I didn't take the stamp out of my Misty or off of my Misty door. So before I do that, I just wanna hit this quickly with my heat tool just to make sure that all of the watercolor is completely dry. And then I'll go ahead and place that in the same spot. And I don't have to worry about this being off a little bit because um, it's the Misty. So it's going to be a perfect impression every time, as long as everything is in the same spot. So I went ahead and re-stamped that. I let that dry for a little bit while I was getting my uh, dyes ready. And now I'm just going to choose random placement to cut out different tags. And I'm just choosing bits and pieces of the image to include in some parts of the tags. So here I have two different tags and obviously one has a really large image of some leaves in it with the pink flower and the yellow flower. The other one had just has a little bit of yellow and uh, pink. This one's just got the pink flower with the green leaves and then one with just the pink flower. I love that this can also be used as a set because they all look very similar but very individual in their own ways, especially when you change up the orientation like that um, tag on the left there and I decided to stamp that in sort of like a, a horizontal orientation rather than a vertical. And so I really love just the different ways that you can make these look extremely individual even though it really all came from the same stamp. I want to thank you so much for stopping by my stop on the video hop today. Please remember to leave a comment before continuing on the hop. As always, all of the products used are in the description as well as the link to the next stop. Thank you.